Good morning, everybody. Mrs. Van Pelt here. We are ready to do our morning meeting. Hope your spring break was amazing. I know it's a little tricky to figure out spring break to isolation, but it's all right. Welcome back to our morning meetings. So if you can get out all your tools, you'll need your whiteboard pen. You will need your morning meeting page. Now let's get started. Remember you guys can pause this video anytime you want if you need to catch up. Okay, here we go. Today is Monday, April 13th, 2020. At the end of that sentence, I forgot to put a period. There you go. We're going to do morning meeting. It seems that we did our reading page last week. So you don't have a reading page this week. The letter O, math 11 and 12. And then I'm going to talk about some math challenges and one of your journals. I'm going to put that on the list. I wasn't sure if I was going to do that, but we are. I'll show you that before we end. If you want to find in your packet, there's this page. So it tells us everything that we're doing. Remember, we're not going to do the reading page. So it says mark the text or bumpy read. Unless you want to review it, we're not going to work on that. So this will be what we're working on this week. All right, here we go. So remember, I just move it down a little bit. And I'm going to get one of the tools, now that I know everybody has it, that will give us the information for um, the months of the year. You'll be able to tell us what number month we're in. It looks just like this. So I'm going to keep this right here. We're going to do our secret code right up here. So the first number of a secret code is always the month. And we just talked about the month is April. So we could do it both ways. We could do January, February, March, April. Slide across, what number month is April? Four. Okay. The middle number is always how many days are done in that month. So it's called the date. Can you see the date? 13. And then the year is 2020. Okay, I don't need my board anymore. So here we go. Look over here in the data that we've just collected and slide on over left to right, find today's number. 13. We're going to drop on over here down to name it. I'm going to come back because there's a, some sounds in there that you might be able to try. 13. There's a blender at the beginning of this. Um, I'm going to have you challenge yourself to figure out what that is. Slide on over left to right to tally it. Make sure you do your bundles of five. Getting all the way to 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 11, 12, 13. Remember, always pause if you need some extra time. 
So if you want to tally it before you watch me tally it, just put the pause button on and join me when you're ready. Okay, drop on down left to right. We're headed on down to place it. We're headed down to place it right here. We're going to see if there's some ones, tens, and hundreds. So if we're checking out our number 13, Remember on the right side is where we start for our ones. The next is tens. The next would be hundreds. So check out that one spot. What number is in the one spot? Great. And how about that tens? Are there any hundreds? You can put a zero or X so I know that you were checking in on it. When you're finished, slide on over left to right to frame it. I want you to check in your place value boxes and tell me how many 10 groups will we use? How many 10 frames am I going to be able to use here? Hmm. That's in the ones. So three would not be what I'm looking for. So if I'm looking for a 10 group, I'm looking for the tens. How many tens will I use? You're right, so I'm gonna count them off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. If you need extra time, remember to pause. I'm done with my tens group. What will I put in my other 10 frame? Three. One, two, three. And remember, we are going to do some challenging pieces for you guys. So how many pieces are in a 10 frame? Right, there's only 10 pieces in a 10 frame. So I'm gonna move this right over here. So if we're gonna do this, we're gonna use it as a fraction. So there's 10 pieces. Now in this 10 frame, how many pieces are we using? Not 10 because we didn't fill it up yet. So how many X's do we have in there? How many ones? Great, three. So we're using three parts of 10, three tenths. Great job, you guys. Oops. Okay, when you're done with that, drop on down to before and after. There's three boxes. In the middle is our number of the day. Go ahead and drop that in there when you're ready. Okay, great. So we're going to do before and after. And we're just getting back, so we're just going to bounce one forward, oops, one forward and one backwards. So we're going to have 13 subtract 1 equals 13 plus 1 equals. And don't worry if you need to get out your number chart. If you need to, that's great. If you don't need to, that's perfect too. On this one, we'll probably be able just to use our little one. We have this in there. Oops. So it says 13 subtract 1. So I'm going to go down here to 13. Right here, I'm going to put a dot on top or on bottom, whichever you prefer. It says I'm going to go backwards 1. I'm going to jump back 1. What number did you get into? Perfect, 12. We'll put that 12 right there. Give it a quick erase. 
Where are we going to start again? Only this time we're going to add it, not take it away. Just one forward. Great job. What number are we at? 14. Perfect. Okay, let's read them. 12. 12. Great. 13. 14. Okay, let's go right back up here. Did you get the blender? Did you get that challenge? It's TH, right? That is a TH sound. And sometimes that er is a little tricky. It could be IR. 13. All right, a number sentence. I'm going to do one down here. And you can do one up here. Let's see what we're going to do today. I'm going to look up way back up here at my tally knit of the bundles. So I see I have a bundle of five. So I'm going to take a five. And I'm going to add. It looks like I have a bundle of five and three more. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to add eight. And then I can use any one of my tools to figure out what my answer is. I can use my place it. It says it's 13 because we know one ten and three ones equals 13. Come back up here. I can count by fives and add more. Five, 10, 11, 12, 13. I know my answer is going to be 13. All right, if you're not quite done, pause the video. We're not going to have a reading page today, so I'm going to move right to our letter O. Meet me there when you're ready. Remember, always put your name at the top. Put the secret code if you like. Let's get started. We're going to be working on the capital O, AW. This letter is not too tricky. The thing we need to remember is stay at the skyline or the plain line or the grass line. This one's not too tricky because we start way up here on the skyline. We just bump it out all the way down to the grass line and then bump it back out all the way back up to the skyline. Okay, let's try that again together. Skyline, bump it out. Grass line, bump it out. Back up to skyline. Remember to do a few more on your own. Come on down here to the lowercase o. Remember, just because they're different, they still have the same sound. Still aw. This way, we're going to do the same way as we did here, only we're starting on the plain line. So we're going to go plain line, bump it out. Grass line, bump it out. Back up to the plain line. Let's try that again together. Plain line. Grass line, plain line. Perfect. Okay, check out down here. Try to read some of those words on your pictures. Do your lowercase o. And then add some more. Look around your house. Look in your refrigerator. Look in the reading books that you have or any other homework that might have an o, a word that begins with o. Not all the time does it have to have an aw sound, though. So you might find an O that doesn't have an aw sound. Just a word that begins with the letter O. How about the word off? Go back and review that sight word video. It has lots of O words in there.
Okay, go ahead and finish up there. Pause the video if you need to. Join me at math pages 11 and 12 when you're ready. All right, remember always putting your name and the date at the top, that secret code. Marking your text if that's where you are in the academic process. Some are not doing the marking the text yet. And that's okay. Okay. Count the number of objects. Write the number on the line. So it's asking you to count and write the number. Count and write the number. You can pause this video while you are doing that task. I'm going to come back to this before we leave. Let's jump on down right here. So we're going to trace the number 11 and then write it three times on our own. Okay. So this is pretty simple. Just make sure your lines are going from sky line to grass line, nice and tall, and another one right next to it. Don't give too much space in between. I want to know it's the number 11, not two ones. Give finger space in between your next tracing. And then all the way down. You're going to come on down here and find the number 11. There's more than one. When you're done, color the triangles. Which shape are triangles? Hint, they only have three sides. They only have three sides. Okay, great job. I'm going to jump back up here. So if you're not quite done, don't worry. You can work on it later or pause the video. So for some of you that have the answers up here, if you're just counting and that's where your group is at, perfect. If you are in a higher group, please do some extra challenges. You can add these two numbers together. Subtract these two numbers, remembering the biggest number will go first. And a big challenge, and I know you guys have a worksheet or a tool that can help you for this, multiply. Whatever this number is, multiply it by this number. And use your multiplication chart. If you jump down here for more challenges, after you circle the number 11, some of you that are doing that multiplication, how many groups? Put a question mark. Of 11 are there what's your answer if you're not doing multiplication you can do adding 11 plus 11 plus 11 however many groups there are if you're down here and you're not doing that adding multiplication multiplication subtracting come on down here tell me how many triangles you had you can just put a little number down here and give it a big circle. Keep challenging yourself because I'm not doing your work with you in person. So it's tricky for me. Usually I give everybody a challenge. Okay. When you're finished, move right over to day 12. 
Mark your text. I know I'm going pretty fast. Just pause if you're not ready. It's okay. It's like taking a brain break. Here we go. Count the number of objects. Circle the group that has, what's that word? Mm, or more. Great job. So you're going to count how many are in each group. Circle the group that has more. I'm going to mark this. So we'll do a challenge before we go. Drop on down to the middle. We'll do a practice right. Trace the number. And then write it three times more. It's right here. It doesn't say more. I just was saying it more. All right, here we go. So we're going to do, I'm going to do the middle one. Skyline to grass line, nice and tall, like we did on number 11. And then here's a little different. I like to look at the beginning part of R2 as like half of a heart. So can you see that? It's kind of half of a heart. So I go just below the skyline a little bit. I roll it up, touch the skyline, go all the way down the grass line. Doesn't that look like half a heart? Perfect. And then kick it out. Give it a stand. Try that again. Skyline to grass line. For your two, go right underneath that skyline, around the skyline, slide down with love. Get it all the way down to the grass and kick it out. Perfect. Come on down here to the 12. Circle all those 12s. Do a little math challenge for yourself. You can do it adding, subtracting, multiplication. And then down here, you're going to trace those triangles. Now remember, if you have colors, use your colors three times. Top, slide down to bottom, top, slide down to bottom, and then give it a base. Top to bottom, top to bottom, give it a base. And then if you're not doing multiplication, adding, subtracting quite yet, count how many triangles there are and then you can maybe group them in groups of two and then do an addition problem like that do some challenging here so up here friends doesn't matter which one has more because we're done with that information but go ahead and challenge yourself again add it subtract it or multiply it those of you doing multiplication, let's do this together. That way I can know the information. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven apples. And did you see how I went from left to right, just like I read? Left to right, drop down, back left to right. Perfect. Let's try it over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which is the bigger number? If you're not sure, check your chart. Which is the bigger number? Great. Now, if you want to do an addition problem, you can use all the tools that you have. You can have seven plus nine. Now, if I do a, a subtraction, if I only have seven, can I take nine from the seven? Now remember that bigger number has to go first. If you're multiplying, remember on this chart, it's a seven and a nine. I usually have this in one of those protector sleeves so I can use my whiteboard pen. But for right now, I'm gonna put my finger on the seven here and the nine here, and I'm gonna kind of meet. You see how I did that? seven nine i'm gonna go across go down till i meet okay that's all for today's math part so i do want to encourage you to do some of those 
mouth challenges on my video. Challenge yourself, even if it's just on those pages. But now I want to talk about our journals. And not the black book journals, we're not there yet. But you received a journal. Most of you have this. I'll get to the other one. Most of you have this. So go ahead and do this. Mark this text for this week. Mark this text. A family pet. Find all the words you know. Mark the sentences. And then go ahead and and build your dog give it some environment it looks like there might be some bushes or something back here but what would you have for your dog to play with go ahead and draw your dog here what would you like to have for your dog and then give him a name or her make sure you write that name right here and we'll come back to this tomorrow so what are you going to do with this page Mark the text, dot, or highlight. I don't know if you guys have a highlighter. The words you know. Draw your dog with some environment. And then name it. Perfect. For some other of you, you have a page like this. And I know it's backwards and stuff just because you have to fold it. So you will grab that one, put your name down here at the bottom. You're going to mark your text. And they each just have one sentence, so you should only have a, a one by it. Good. Dot or highlight the words you know. And then you fold it into a book. So you fold here. And then you fold again this way. So your book will look like this. And then go ahead and color it. I have um, some other kiddos at my house who actually put some really great environment in some of these. or some sunshine. Um, one of them drew another friend over here on the side. So do that job. And then we'll talk about them tomorrow. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. You can leave a message here. You can show your work here or over on Dojo. You can message me, email me, let me know if you need any help. Until then, I'll have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.